Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are going to take a look at the Polyan Tracker Plus and we're going to make a track. I'm not going to really go into a review type thing, I'm just going to make a song and see how we go. And today's song sounds like this. So let's get into it. So first up, obviously, we're going to want to go along, file, and then new project. And then we can come back to pattern. And you can see we've got just an empty pattern now. And the big thing with the, the plus as opposed to the normal tracker, and obviously it's on the mini as well, is the addition of more tracks. So you can kind of separate things out a little bit better and give you a little bit more room to maneuver when working on ideas and stuff like that. So let's go into a sample loader and I've got some samples that I've kind of put together to make this idea. So let's go down to samples and then we'll go to my samples and then YouTube track, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a track for YouTube. So let's, I can preview these. We have like a little ambient pad that I made on the DX7 from Arturia. I have a little bass that's just a stock standard upright bass from Logic. Just a standard uh, drum break you would usually here in like drum and bass and stuff like that. This little skippy drum and, beat, uh, drum and bass loop and that's from Logic's built-in loops and then the think break that everyone knows. So let's add all these in. Oh. No. So let's go again. And go up to here, add next. Just going to add all these in, and there we go. Last thing we want to do is we're going to make a kind of hint to drum and bass sort of ambient track. So let's go over to where are we? Song, and then we're going to select the tempo. We're going to go up to 165. So now we are good to go. So the cool thing about the Tracker Plus and the Mini is it has, it now has the built-in synth engines and also the percussion um, drum synth. So let's, let's use that. For this, I'm not going to make a huge loop. I'm, it's going to be pretty compact and you'll be able to, I think it would be just easier to manage and then if I do like it, I can obviously extend it out and flesh it out and stuff like that. So let's go into instrument and then we can just choose this one and then instrument parameters and then it brings us over to here. So we can see we've got the acid, fat, vap, WTFM and the perk and it's the same that you see on the Polyan Play as well as obviously the Mini and now it's on the, the Tracker Plus. So let's go down and we're going to use the perk and now you can see we've got some cool samples. So let's go across and let's go load patch and then see what we've got here kind of a bit crazy. It's almost a 909 from the crunchy. That's going to be perfect. So let's use that one. We'll confirm. And then let's go back over to the, uh, the pattern. And now we have it here. And then you can see when we select instrument, it has the perk loaded. So Let's bring a 
got our hats here. Let's change the step jump to two. And then let's So now if we push play on those, there we go. We've got our little hi-hats, something to kind of help sort of tie it all together. A nice little hat is usually a good way to kind of keep it a little bit tighter. So let's go in and get our kick snare pattern going. So let's put it on this track here. We go back to instrument, we still got perk selected. And then we can come along. Let's make sure that's off. And let's just make sure. Yeah, we're still set to crunchy. Let's go back to pattern. So let's go in here. And just kind of going to do this a little bit haphazard and maybe maybe here and then we can come along and we'll put out a uh, don't need to go all the way up. We can just come in here and now we're gonna, we're gonna load this snare, but we're gonna shape these a little bit better. So let's come in here and Let's go. Let's just play it and then we can have a listen. Let's delete that one there. That's, that's okay. It's enough to get us going. So let's go over to instrument parameters. Then we can go edit patch. And then that brings us up to this cool little window where we can see each of the elements and then we can change the parameters in here. So let's go to snare. And kind of want to pull this decay the hats as well. There you go, it's a bit louder now. And that kick is pretty crazy. So let's I'm just changing the mod amount, transient level, just trying to get it a little bit tighter. Just take down that attack a little bit, or the decay, sorry. We have a bunch of different waves that we can use. Maybe we'll try one of these. That one's good there. Let's do this. That one's there. T T Z F M one. That sounds good.
Just checking the, the actual pitch of it. I think we're pretty good there. Take that gain down just a little bit. Let's go back to, let's go back to the pattern and then maybe look at this a little bit more. okay it's good enough for what we're doing we're just kind of having a playing around and seeing what we can do we had a look at the percussion synth and that was the main thing of the the video so let's cruise over and then start looking at adding some samples in here so the first one if we hold down instrument we've got our different samples in here so let's add that the chord the a minor ninth. So we've got a chord in and let's, we kind of want to edit it a little bit. So sample editor. And then what I want to do is I want to crop. So we've got crop here, go back to the start and then let's just get it here. So now it doesn't have that sort of fade in sound so let's go about there doesn't have that whoop, the the attack that i actually did put on the sample but when i play it back it's kind of not the best so let's click apply and then if we come back to the pattern so there's our little but So let's go from there and then so So let's get rid of this one. Get rid of that. Let's play it and then just play a little bit in so that we can see what it sounds like. Let's get that off. That's gonna be the pattern there. Nothing too crazy. So let's put that in. And then maybe here. And then we wanna mess with that a little bit. So instrument parameters. Let's put a low pass on. more let's go reverb little delay little bit of overdrive just one on the overdrive there we go back Pretty good. Cancel. So now we have, I click the instrument parameter twice. It brings us over to the more, more options for that 
so let's have a look. At the moment we had the volume, so let's take that down, take the sustain down, take the amount down. Pull the decay up. And let's get the cutoff and go LFO. Change it to 16 steps and then we just pull the amount down. Just to get a little bit more movement in there because it is a sample, we don't want it just to be, yeah, I want a little bit of something going on there. Maybe let's let's go a little bit less on that amount. And then let's open up the cutoff a little bit more. A little bit of resonance. I think that's it there. Good enough for government work. So let's go on to the next one. And for this, I wanna add a little bit more flavor in with our drums. And that's why I've got a couple of different drum loops in there. So let's start off with, let's go instrument. And let's start off with this little skip, uh, drum and bass skip. And then if we go into, uh, not that one, we're gonna go into sample editor and then we want actually do, do, do. sample playback rather. So we're gonna go on to beat slice and then we're gonna to go to more and then we're gonna go select a slice evenly, but we only want eight slices. So slice evenly, confirm. No, let's go more, let's go 16. Slice evenly, confirm, there we go. So now it's given us a bunch of slices that we can utilize as like some little skips with the drum beat. So let's go back to pattern. And we're here, we got, make sure we got record off and now. There's a little bit of click on there, but they're the, the bits that we want, these little. Don't want those hits, but we want the bits in between. So let's come along. Take that off. Let's go one in here. One here, and I'm just kind of going randomly. Oop, don't want that one. Maybe one there. There we go, maybe one to finish it up. There we go. So now if we push play. It's really low in the mix, so let's go into instrument parameters, go to volume. Now we have a little bit more going on there. 
go more, maybe add a little bit of overdrive. Take the bit depth down. Maybe volume down just a little bit there. So now we've got a couple of elements in. We've got some, we got the perk, we have a pad and we have the little drum loop that we've cut to get those little skips and whatnot. So let's come across and let's get the bass line in. Bass is always good. So let's come in. We're gonna go instrument, we got bass. So let's delete this one. And Delete that one. Delete. So this, the chord is in A minor ninth. So this is our A here. So let's have that as kind of the root note to kind of build everything around and then we can kind of go from there. So. So I like that there. Go. Oh, I don't want those. I want to kind of jam it out a little bit. Go here. Let's change this up a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. Delete these two and instead of so B maybe there, I don't know. good enough. Cool. So we have a little baseline in there. And like I said before, it, everything's kind of, because we're just operating in, in just 32 beats, everything's a little bit more compact. 
Whereas I would usually have the, the pad sustain a little bit further and then the baseline would kind of have a little bit more room to breathe, breathe but just kind of just trying to have a play around and see how it goes. So we have our sixth track here. Let's get another loop in. So let's go with the classic think and we can delete that out to start. And then let's go to uh, sample playback, beat slice again. And we'll go more. And then we'll go slice even, evenly, 16 slices. So now, So now we have our little bits here. Let's come across again to the pattern and then let's have a look. Is it going to be two beats? Let's just see there. It is not. So it's got this, delete. Delete, 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 delete. Oh, delete that one. Even delete that one. And then we can go step jump. It's going to be four. So now. It's a little bit busy. Go over here, turn this down a little bit. So let's put another one here. Another one there. Maybe like that. Instrument parameters. For some reason, we were messing with that one. We want that one up. this one yep drum and bass skip let's turn this down in volume a little bit Have a high pass pull this down it's a little bit better kind of gluing a bit together a little bit more. Okay, and now let's put in, we have one more like little drum loop that I want to put in and then we'll add one of the synths in just to round it all out. So let's come in, we got instrument and we're going to use this calling one. And again, we're going to go to uh, sample playback, go beat slice, and go more. Let's have a look 16, slice evenly. Let's try that. We'll go with that. We'll see how it goes. And get a pattern and this I just want at the end I just want to have it as a little little zhuzh at the end so let's come in here 
I think step jump, we're going to be able to have it at two. Let's come into here. Let's see how we go here. That's pretty good, but let's do it from a little bit further out. So let's just delete these. And again, I would have this right at the end of maybe a eight bar section, the last two bars or something like that, but we're fitting it all in. So there we go. Cool, so we got something there, but let's have a look here. Let's go eh, eh. kind of like twist it up a little bit. There we go. Cool. Now to, to finish it off, I want to use one of the built-in synths. So we're going to use just a basic one. I'm going to put a bunch of reverb and stuff like that on it. So I'm going to go down the back here. Yeah, so this is the, the, the last bit. So I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but this is um, beats 25 to 32. We'll go instrument. We're going to go, we'll start with acid, but we're going to change it to the, the fat and we just got the the initialized patch so actually now we'll use the vat so we'll go to pattern and for this kind of want start here This one, there we go, boom. So now when we play it, maybe take this one away. Maybe this one to now let's try taking this one, deleting this, and then here. No, nope. it was good where it was. So let's delete this one. There we go. So let's go in here. We're going to edit the patch. Let's go shape all the way to the top. Keep it in the middle. Maybe up. There we go. So 
So you get a filter, take the resonance down. Increase that envelope amount. Go over to the envelope. That's pretty good. Reverb. Let's edit the patch a little bit more. Let's go filter. Pull down the amount. That's pretty good. Delay. So that's about it for today. Hopefully you got something out of this. We kind of ticked a bunch of the boxes. We used the perk, we used the built-in synths, we used uh, some drum loops, some single hits to kind of get together this sketch. And you can see it does come together pretty easily. Whilst it might look like you're using Excel to make music, it is a cool way to work, especially because it kind of gets you out of that linear way of thinking and you kind of really just listening to sounds rather than looking at waveforms, which is a cool way to work. Another good feature of this is these sessions will transfer over to the mini. So if you have the mini and then you recorded a bunch of sounds using the built-in mic, kind of got an idea together, like it, but you're not really down with the, the thumbs of fury after a while and you kind of want to work on something a little bit bigger, you can transfer these sessions into the Tracker Plus, keep working on it, develop the idea, and then record everything into your, uh, your workstation to kind of really finish the tracks off. At the end of the day, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, but the main thing is, hopefully this has inspired you to create something. Until next time, see you later.